Hi, Jim here. I thought it'd be good to give you a little bit of info about me and uh, the pictures. Since I call myself a filmmaker, I decided to do it in video format. How original. So where did it all begin for me? First, we need to go back in time. Okay, that's too far. That's better. So I left university in 1998 and formed Cat and Cage Pictures with this guy, Johannes Roberts. Joe is now a filmmaker in his own right, having directed films such as Dark Hunters, Forest of the Damned and F the Movie. But enough about him, this is my video. Anyway, me and Joe formed Cat and Cage Pictures and started writing our first movie, Diagnosis. The story of an experimental drug that's used at an insane asylum on some patients, some test patients, and cures insanity in some of them, but then in the ones that don't take the drug, they go insane. Um, okay, so it's obvious we had a very complicated plot. This was our first movie. We took the film to Cannes the first year, and surprise, surprise, nobody wanted it. Didn't have anyone famous in it, and it didn't have that much blood in it either for a horror film. So we shot some extra scenes with psychic spoonbender, Yuri Geller, put them throughout the film, explained the plot a bit better, and we even shot some extra blood. We took the film back to Cannes, and hooray! We found a sales agent willing to take it on. The film was later repackaged as Sanitarium, mainly, I think, for the Americans. We even showed the film to legendary British director Ken Russell. Hello! He called it intensely claustrophobic. Bear in mind he saw the two-hour diagnosis cut, which was intensely claustrophobic. Then we decided to make an art house horror movie called Alice, the story of a woman's search for the killer of her son, which turns out to be a clown, sorry, spoiler alert. This later got repackaged as Hellbreeder because people wanted to see the clown on the poster. Not much of a secret, but there you go. I can see why they use the killer clown on the poster. It looks awesome. So after Hellbreeder, myself and Joe parted ways. I should bring in Laura now, my wife. At that point, not my wife, but she's my wife now. Laura was the stills photographer on Hellbreeder. We got together and we decided to create Amber Pictures, named after a dog I had at university. Being a massive Buffy fan, I decided I wanted to make a vampire film. So I set about making the micro-budget epic The Witch's Hammer, the story of a vampire's search for a magic book that could stop an impending apocalypse. I was lucky enough to get Stephanie Beecham to appear in it. It was shot on 35mm, which is really expensive. So I mostly had to shoot the film in one takes. Luckily, I had an awesome cast that could pretty much hit their marks the first time. The film also starred Claudia Coulter as the lead vampire and Jonathan Sidgwick and many others. The film's been released on DVD and holds a special place in my heart due to the size and length of the production. Then I made Bone, a science fiction horror. No stars, but plenty of awesome actors. Check this clip out. Actual tears. I mean, proper acting. How good is that? We entered the film into lots of competitions and actually won the Best Horror Feature Award at Shriekfest, which is a massive honour. My influences are all types of films. There we go. Yep, some odd ones in there I know. From all types of genres. After Bane, me and Laura decided it was time to have a child. So, when she got pregnant, I thought it would be a good idea to make a short. I had a chat with Pat Higgins, director of such films as Hellbride, Trash House and The Devil's Music. Again, this is my story. And we sat about making a horror anthology project called Bordello Death Tales. Pat introduced me to this guy, Alan Ronald, and we had our trio of directors. The film is about three bloody tales from Madame Raven's Bordello. It's the bloodiest film I've ever made, and I don't think I'll be comfortable showing my daughter. That's my 10 year film journey so far. Hopefully I'll edit in a section about me winning a BAFTA at some point. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, and while I've got you here, please be my friend on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and also like my films. But most of all, let me know what you think. Bye.